Did you know that you can use Instapanel with videos? What's the most important accessory when you're using the Insta360 ONE X2 for vlogging? I'd say it's even more important for vlogging than a selfie stick. Here are 15 Insta360 ONE X2 tips and tricks you should know. Do you like the new Instapanel mode? Instapanel is a new mode of the Insta360 ONE X2 that lets you capture extra wide panoramas in just a single shot. But one limitation is that the camera has to be perfectly vertical. Otherwise, the panorama is gonna be tilted. Now here's how to get an Instapanel shot with auto leveling, regardless of how you're holding it. The first way to get auto leveling is also the easiest. Just open the same photo in Insta360 Studio. You'll see that Insta360 Studio will apply automatic horizon correction. If it doesn't, make sure to check this box for stabilization. The second way is to take a regular 360 photo and load it in the app. The app can often give you an option to export the 360 photo as an Insta panel. Then all you have to do is share it and you're done. But what if you don't get an Insta panel option? In that case, you can use the third option. So first, take a regular 360 photo. Then import that photo into your Insta360 app. In the app, choose Flow State Stabilization to level your photo automatically. Next, export your photo as a 360 photo, not as a reframed photo. Then it'll show up in your phone's gallery. In your phone's gallery, crop the photo to the size that you want. And presto, you have an Insta panel photo that's been auto-leveled. Now, what about for videos? Is there a way to use Instapanel for videos? Now, normally you cannot use Instapanel for videos, but using this same method, you can actually turn any video into an Instapanel video. Yes, we'll, we'll also have horizon leveling. Here's how to do it. So here's how to create an Instapanel video. First, capture a 360 video. Next, Export it as a regular 360 video, not as a reframe video. After exporting, it's going to show up in your gallery. Next, tap on edit and then tap on crop. Next, crop the video. And presto, you have an Instapano video. You can use this technique with any kind of video, even a time-lapse video. Tip number three, are you having trouble connecting your camera to the app? Here's how to fix the problem. Chances are your phone is connected to your home or office network. Before launching the app, turn on your camera. Now switch your phone to the One X2's Wi-Fi network, then launch the app the app should be able to connect to your camera. Tip number four. Do you get confused about which side to insert the battery? It's easy. Just feel the sharp edge. If you're right-handed, the sharp edge should be on the same side as your thumb when you insert your One X2's battery. Tip number five. The One X2's LCD screen is very useful. But is there a way to frame your subject while seeing yourself? Yes, with live multi-view. When recording a video, just tap on the multi-view icon. You'll be able to see both your subject and yourself at the same time. All right, so I'm here in a local park and we're testing the Insta360 ONE X2's live multi-view, a really useful feature for vlogging. Tip number six, speaking of vlogging, here's a very important tip. You need to have clear audio. In fact, for vlogging, I would say it's even more important than good video. The problem is that with a 360 camera, the camera is kind of far from us. So to get good audio, I strongly recommend the mic adapter. You can use either a lav mic or a wireless microphone. The one I like best is Rode Wireless Go. It has good audio quality and it's slim enough to be invisible. Now to make it invisible, use the cold shoe and this 3D printed mount. I'll put a link in the description. 
Now, Rode Wireless Go is good, but it's kind of expensive. And this one, I'm not so fond of because the sound is pretty good, but it uses a uh, different frequency and it's more prone to interference. I've had some footage where there were like gaps in the sound. This is a single row pen head. Because of interference, so I can't rely on this one. This one is pretty good. It's what I'm using right now. It's what you're hearing right now. It's very similar to Rode Wireless Go. Uh, the difference is that it's not as good as Rode Wireless Go in uh, eliminating ambient noise. Like so you'll hear more of the background noise if it's a noisy environment. But it's kind of okay and it's definitely a lot cheaper than Rode Wireless Go. Tip number seven. Do you find that the One X2 is a little bit loud? On the other hand, you can't turn off the beeping because it's too useful. So here's how to reduce the sound for those times when you need to be a little more discreet. So this is the speaker. You can cover it and when you turn it on, it will make the sound much less intrusive. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> tip number eight. Now here's a video tip. Now let's say you're shooting a video with your One X2 and you're pointing it at different objects. But when you play back the video in the app, it's not changing the view. Well, that's because the video is stabilized with flow state. If you want the video to show where you're aiming, there are two ways to do it. The easiest way is to turn on direction lock in the Insta360 app. With direction lock on, the One X2 video will show whatever you're aiming at. Now be sure to export it as a reframed video, not a 360 video. Now please note, the direction lock in the Insta360 app works differently from the direction lock on the desktop app. In the Insta360 phone app, direction lock lets you point up, down, left, or right. The direction lock in the desktop app will only let you point left or right. Tip number nine, the direction lock seems very convenient. Should you always turn it on? No. If you want to shoot first and point later, then you can turn off direction lock. Then use the second way to control the view, which is through keyframing. If you're not familiar with keyframing, check out my Insta360 app tutorial for the One X2, One R, and One X, and actually any future Insta360 cameras too. Now the Insta360 ONE X2 has a really cool non-360 mode called Wide Mode. And in this mode, you can have 360 horizon leveling. Here's how to do it. So first let's switch to Wide Mode. So tap on the 360 symbol, it toggles Wide Mode. Now Wide Mode has two settings. If you tap on this, you'll see there's Basic and there's Pro. So the default setting is Basic, which means that you'll be able to use the video straight out of the camera right away and it's going to have stabilization you don't have to do any kind of processing so here i am in basic mode now it's going to be stabilized see i can sh shake it a little bit but the stabilization is not super robust like if i move it much like if i move it too much you can see there's going to be some vibration now, Pro Mode, on the other hand, means that you'll have better stabilization. In fact, you'll have 360 horizon leveling. Not only that, but you'll also be able to change the aspect ratio after the fact. So let's try it out. So I'm going to switch to Pro Mode. So now I'm in Pro Mode. So I can move it around. I can even turn it upside down. and it's still going to be stabilized. But to get better stabilization from Pro Mode, you will need to process the video either in the smartphone app or in the Insta360 Studio desktop app. Tip number 11. Here's a faster way to view your photos and videos. From the main screen, we swipe 
right to view our photos and videos now you can tap on this icon in the bottom to reveal thumbnails that way you can review four photos and videos at the same time now here's another tip the shape of the thumbnail tells you what kind of photo or video it is so for example if it's a, a perfect square then that means it is a 360 photo or video now sometimes you see one that's not quite a perfect square it's like a 16 by 9 rectangle then that means it is a non 360 video using wide mode you can also see a thumbnail for instapano which looks like a two by one rectangle tip number 12 when you first get your insta 360 one x2 be sure to calibrate your gyro from the main screen swipe down to go to the settings and swipe left to go to the next page then scroll down to gyro calibration place your 1x2 on a table and hold it down to make sure it doesn't fall then turn on gyro calibration you only need to do this once tip number 13 you might already know that the battery case can hold a micro sd card in the cover it's really convenient but did you find it hard to remove? Now make sure to insert the micro SD card in the direction indicated. Now pulling it out can be hard, so I found it best to use my fingernail to push it out. <laughs> Speaking of dual purpose, here's a tip. The lens cap for the Insta360 ONE X can also be used for the ONE X2. And the official ONE X2 case can also fit the One X, although it's a tight fit. And the neoprene case for the One X also fits the One X too. Tip number 15, don't miss critical moments. Turn on quick capture. From the main screen, swipe down to reveal the settings. Look for the quick capture icon that looks like a rocket. With quick capture activated, there's no need to turn on your camera. Just press the shutter and it's gonna turn on and start recording automatically and when you're done recording just press the shutter and it's going to turn off automatically for more tips for your 360 cameras hit subscribe i'll see you in 360.